Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I want to talk about pollination. Uh, the, these are some of our apple trees. All the way down through there. There's a row. Goes all the way down. Below the awning, there's blueberries, pears, plums. We've got a lot of fruit trees. Now, a lot of people get confused when it comes to pollination of what's best, what's the best pollinators. Well, it's like this. If you just have a few individual trees, not overwhelmingly like acres of trees, then you would be fine with the natural pollinators that you have. Like, I'm going to show you these bumblebees. And, and there's a lot of bumblebees on this tree, a lot of them. And very good pollinators. Bumblebees are excellent pollinators. And they're mixed in there with honeybees. You can hardly see them in there, but uh, honeybees are kind of, they feed at certain times. And whatever they're feeding on is what they're going to be feeding on uh, so they may not be on this tree as much. I see a handful, but not that many. The majority of these that you're seeing here are bumblebees. So what I wanted to kind of get out there is the kind of the misconception that if we didn't have honeybees would be in a mess, but you got to understand that when, when they, people say that, they mean, what it really means is in huge orchards where, where, where uh, uh, beekeepers stock hundreds and hundreds of beehives to pollinate. The almond orchards in California, apple orchards in LJ, where there's overwhelmingly too many to pollinate. Now, if you're just a hobby um, farmer and have a handful of trees, uh, you will do fine with the bumblebees. Don't get me wrong, honeybees help because you see it in the number of uh, like blueberries and gardens and stuff like that. But it's they're not, if you didn't have a beehive in your yard, you wouldn't be, don't think that your, your crops are not going to get pollinated because these, these bumblebees do a fine job. Now, not at all discouraging anyone not to get bees because I think everybody should have. I mean, because you, you get your your own honey, which is, you can't beat that. And they do help pollinate. And sometimes the number of bumblebees aren't as high as they are like right now. And there could be nest closely by for another reason that they're so thick but bumblebees do an excellent job so next time you think about pollination don't think just honeybees these bumblebees here they they do their job and they do it very well and uh they're wild lived nobody has a colony colony of bees anywhere and thank goodness we still have something in the wild that can help pollinate. But I just kind of wanted to point that out. I've seen this tree full of bumblebees and I just wanted to talk about the importance of these bumblebees and if you didn't have them. Because not everybody's got a beehive. Not everybody can has a neighbor that has a beehive. So just think about that. That's about it. Just wanted to do a little, little thought on the, the bumblebees. Don't forget folks. Please click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.